we are going to learn about how to use a scale ruler today. Uh, this is called an architect scale because it has six different scales that we can use. Actually six different sides, 12 different scales that we can use. Uh, you can see it's got fraction numbers. We've also got whole numbers. Uh, these are going to be what we, these are the different scales that we can use to scale our drawings. Uh, to use a scale, we're going to use the quarter inch scale as a demonstration first. When we see a quarter inch, what this means is that one quarter inch on this scale is going to represent one foot in our drawing. Because we're not going to draw a house on a 50 foot sheet of paper, we need to scale it down to become smaller. The quarter inch scale equals one foot scale is one of the most common scales used in architecture. To use this scale, we've got to first look at a few things. One of them is that we've got a lot of different numbers that we can use. We're always going to start at zero, but we can see we go zero to 92 right away. Where this 92 comes from is on the very opposite end of the ruler. We can see that we have the eighth inch scale over there. The eighth inch scale we can totally disregard because we're not using it. So when I see 92, it means that if I was going to start at zero on the eighth inch scale, from zero to this line right here is 92 feet. Since we're not going to use it, we can forget about it. The numbers that we want to look at are these numbers here, the 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8. The manufacturer of the ruler only prints the even numbers, so it doesn't get too clustered up with lots of odd numbers as well. But we know the halfway between 0 and 2 is 1. So even though it's not labeled, in our mind we can remember that. If I want to measure how long the line is, I need to line up the 0 with the end of the line. When I do that, I can count then. I have zero, that'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And we can see that this line on this quarter inch scale ruler would be twelve feet at a quarter scale. If we come down to measure this line, we can see that I would go one, two, three, four, five, but I'm not quite to six inches. So to measure this line, I, w I need to put, I can see that I'm, I'm at five feet, but I'm not quite to six. So I'm gonna put the five foot marker at the end of the line, and I see what I've got hanging over. And over here you can see that this looks like an inch, but it's actually an inch scaled down into one fourth of an inch. So I can see that this line right here goes about halfway between zero and here. So I could call this five feet, six inches. So from here to here it would be five feet, six inches. Now let's measure one more line together. I start at zero, I go to two, but I'm not quite to three. So I need to move the two inch mark on the ruler there again I can see that I'm at two feet plus and I'm about halfway so I could call this two feet six inches. Last thing we're going to look at is this part of the ruler right here. When we do hand drawing or oftentimes when we dimension houses we never get more detailed than six inches so we're never going to look at these little tiny hash marks. What I want you to realize is that between here, if this is zero and this is one, we could pretend that halfway in between is going to be six inches. And that's really all the more detail that we're going to get when we're hand scaling rulers.